Hi everybody, how are you doing? We've got a sort of special um, one tonight for you. There's not just me, there's Mr. Cole Cooks, but also Mrs. Brown Bakes. And uh, we're going to have a fun uh, cooking some of you tonight. What are we going to make tonight, Debbie? Uh, we're going to have a go at making Yule Logs. Yule That's Logs? Be very oh, okay. Yeah. So we watch and enjoy. So for the sponge, which is a fatless sponge, we're going to have eggs, caster sugar, um, self-raising flour, not plain, self-raising flour, and then loads of good old cocoa. Debbie, what have we got for the for the filling on the outside? The well, ganache, the whole, is it? What's yeah, it called? Ganache. ganache for the outside, which ganache. is cream and chocolate melted, but there's also, you can have buttercream, so I think we're going to do a combination of ganache and a bit of buttercream. I don't, I don't know what she's doing. She's just brought some bits along to add, to, and she's just keeping it a secret. Um, to bake the sponge, we, we've, we can use a baking tray, or particularly this is a sandwich tin, isn't it? What do we need yeah, to do? Yeah, Swiss roll tin. We have to line it because it's really important to be able to get the Swiss roll out or the chocolate log out quickly. Notice you we're cutting in the corners here just so that it all tucks right down in. A blob of butter, or if you've got a bit of marge, just give it fingers. Corners corners to hold it and that's going to hold the baking uh, paper. I don't know if that's yeah, a good that's one for that one. And then just pop it in and then just run your nails around the edge. So Debbie's got a really power. fancy um, electronic weighing machine here as opposed to my sort of uh, prehistoric one. 65 and the baby, baby one as well. 65 of that. I'm going to try and do mine as accurately as I can because I've been watching Ben's channel and I don't think he does things as accurately as he should do. And it's not about accuracy, no, it's about I fun. Know, I know. It's about fun. We so are, here we we're go. having fun. Tag more. Now this is where I don't want Debbie to see what I'm going to put in next, but... <laughs> Chilli powder and cinnamon, but don't tell Debbie, don't tell Debbie. <laughs> Just a sprinkle of uh, cinnamon, oh. lovely. Oh, it's because it's, it's Christmas, it's got to have some Christmas. And because um, no, chocolate's really nice, but you want it to last longer, you want it an after kick, and that's the chili powder. Now we're about to do the, the egg mixing with the sugar. 100 grams of sugar. And um, room temperature. 100 grams of sugar, and that's going to be whisked together. And just simply whisk the eggs and the sugar together. Two more. In the garden, right I'll put out more sugar in there. Now in, um, in two minutes, Debbie, three two or three minutes, this is going to be in the oven. So we'll put the oven on, I think. Okay. 180. Yeah. Gas mark four. Okay. Gas mark four. As you do it, it leaves a trail. Um, What's wrong with just well, we've just spent ages whisking all the air in, so we need to be really delicate and careful with this. So, so we have to like fold it. the mixture in. Sit some in and then fold it and just go round and then through and just try not to get rid of any of the air. So do it in about four stages, I think, don't you? You see this food processing action here, just turning the bottle at the same time. I'm impressed with that. Yeah, it's yeah. it, it folds in automatically. Well, maybe without, I ought to you know. have a go at doing that as well. Yeah. Yours is looking far more chocolatey than mine. What have you put in there for your uh, secret ingredient? Don't tell Debbie, secret ingredient makes it look chocolatey. Is it look chocolatey? I'm ready to put mine on here. Right. You need to see. Sure. I think you put gone. something. Um, pot in there, yeah. yeah. And then just gently spread it right till it gets right to the corners. Debbie, ready to go? It is ready, yeah. It's okay. Ready. One. Okay, one How long? Ten minutes or fifteen? I would say we check after ten. Check after ten. So we're going to use a bit of chocolate for the topping, um, possibly for the filling. Debbie might do that. Uh, best way to melt chocolate is above a boiling or steaming pan of hot water in a separate bowl. So I'm going to be breaking this in and putting it in that bowl in a minute there. You can put it in the microwave, but it's very easy to sort of overcook it in, a, in the microwave. So the bet what you'll do is break up the chocolate and um, break one, mm, eat one. <laughs> no. Debbie needs some too. Debbie, yours at the back. Right, this is my secret ingredient here, so don't show Ben. I'm not looking at this point. Psst. 
What is it? Well, you never guess what. What? Did you do the same? What I was going to do was to do some orange sets in mine. Is that what you were going to do? Yeah. <laughs> so guys, 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 listen to this. I did do a practice of one the other night and inside the sponge, as well as my secret ingredients of chilli and cinnamon, I put orange zest as well. Debbie thinking that she was doing a secret has actually got chocolate orange. And I was going I've got chocolate it. and I'm about to add the real thing into this chocolate. I think we've got similar minds, it's going to be good. I'm going to be mixing about 300 millilitres of cream and that's going to go into the chocolate. That's going to be my topping, ganache. I'm also going to have cream on the inside. Again, don't let Debbie see this. I was going to put this inside the, the sponge, but it would make it a bit heavier. You can get this in sponge, it's really, really nice. But I'm going to just clean it, and then we're going to add, I'm not going to even, uh, I'm not going to peel it because I get my hands all red. But I am going to shred a bit. Look at this here. So Debbie, we've got some double cream here. Yeah. What are we going to do with that? Do we just pour it in? Um, well, you could do, but I'm going to actually whisk mine first and then fold in some chocolate once it's cooled a little bit. Sounds good. Well, I'm going to be folding something in in a minute. Oh, here we go. I'm now recording some of my secret ingredient. It's probably not much of a secret ingredient. Now this is raw beetroot. But what well, it doesn't have to cook. Beetroot, you can eat it raw. Mm -hmm. Really nice. That's going to be really interesting. I'm looking forward to trying this. Just a sprinkling of beetroot. Oh, smell that. Smell that. Mm -mm -mm. Again, chilli just to give it a kick. Oh, oh. Now I'm going to get my cream and I'm going to mix it. So Debbie, we've probably got about two or three minutes left in the oven for the, the cooking of the sponge, but we're going to check just in case. Oh, that, that's, that's nice and bouncy. That's, yeah, that's mine stuff. Done. So Debbie, done. Yeah, that we're, we're, we're happy we're going to get this out now. So Debbie's got icing sugar. I'm going to just have a bit of caster sugar. We're going to turn out our sponges onto these. Enough. Just literally flip it over onto there. So again, just don't be too gentle with it, just nice and flip it over. Careful not to burn yourself, you can take the pan away. And then fairly quickly, you want to peel it back. Peel it back at a, a sort of a sharp angle. Sharp angle. I usually go along the ends and just score it to get it started but it's really important that you start to roll quite quickly. So here we go. One, turn again. So you just roll it tight. Yeah, roll it. Space here there, one. And then we just need to leave two. it somewhere to cool. I could use one of these whisks for the cream but um, I've got my wife's Christmas present here. In it goes, on it goes. Now my wife has just said that this is the present that I bought her that I always wanted. So that, that's hurtful. That's hurtful. Mixed with some butter, mixed with some icing sugar. Ben seems to know what he's doing. Now, cool that down quickly. One place for that. Fridge. Now, this has been cooling down. We're going to unroll it very carefully inside this. So it's going to be unwrapped all the way. And then we're going to be putting cream in there. As you can see, this is a quite a rich cake, really. Although it's a low fat or no fat sponge, 
That's quite, it makes up for it in the filling. Yeah. Cool, that smells nice, Debbie. Wait a minute, can I, can I just try that? <laughs> Look at that. Mm -mm. That orange is gorgeous. Is it right? it off beautifully. Roll it back up the way it came. No, like I say, this is quite a crumbly one. This is really crumbly. Debbie, look at this. It's just breaking apart. It'll be fine because mine's, mine's um, when it's all covered up. It the one I did yesterday did not happen like this. And it goes there. That's going to come off, and that is going to be put against uh, the side somehow. Let's just decide which angle. I'm going to go there. Going to go there and move that across. And let's get let's get covering. I'm going to try doing the ends in something slightly different. So that's that's more buttery yeah. and um, sweeter. Um, with the bit that starts to curl, just pop it inside there, like that. Now, this uh, has stuck a little bit, but it's fine. Just roll it up really carefully. And then that can go on there. What's this one got in it? Chocolate orange. orange and cream. It's lighter. Yeah. Lighter with orangey taste. Yeah. Can yeah. it go harder or stay that soft? Um, no, it should go a little bit harder, I think. I just want sort of loggy type effect. Tree type effect. Is it sleet or is it snow? I think this is just a drizzling of snow. So I'm just gonna go down to there. Nice chunky bark. Now I'm gonna tidy up. Best way to tidy up, eat it. So wipe it off. Mm -mm -mm. But then you need to get it all off so it's tidy. So because uh, wood's got lighter and grain, I'm just gonna add uh, a bit of cream to my chocolate. Um, and hopefully make a lighter mixture. And a bit of icing sugar in this as well, just to pat it out. Now as Debbie has already shown you, it's all about the technique with the fork in a minute. So we're gonna work on that. I'm using the back of the spoon here, filling up all the gaps. I'm happy with that, it's nice and knobbly. That's how it should be. But the ends now, is so they're gonna do the ends. The bottom, keep the middle of one in the same place, and go. These annual rings every year. Tree goes go round. Down from the bottom up the top, round. Down to the bottom. And down to one side. The old sprinkling of the snow. Whoa, snowstorm there. We really did not know that this was gonna happen, did we Debbie? No, we didn't. We did not know that we Yours were both gonna have robins. The secrets weren't secrets. No. The orange, the added flavourings, the, the birds, we've all come out. You're have a go sweet. guys, have a go, this is uh, fun to do. Doesn't matter if it looks a bit mushy, people will love this. This will be a centrepiece to any dessert, any pudding uh, around Christmas time. You must have something like this. You can't really go too far wrong. We've got the recipe below and uh, keep watching and keep cooking and having fun. <laughs>